Hi everyone, welcome back to Forward Therapy. My name is Kelly Troutman. I'm a certified hand therapist. And in today's video, I want to show you a few different ideas for some gentle hand strengthening exercises that you can do at home with items that you might already have. So again, with exercises in general and with all of the videos on this channel, all of the content that I'm sharing, please check in with your doctor, a medical professional, a rehab professional that knows your specific case before you start any exercise program. That way you can be sure that the exercises you're doing are safe for you to do. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So the exercises that I wanna share with you guys today are again, things that you could do at home. Um, if you're a hand therapist and you're working in, in more of kind of tele-rehab nowadays, or you have patients that can't quite get to the clinic very often, or if you just wanna show them like a, a nice exercise program that they can do, um, if you don't wanna to have to spend too much money buying a bunch of different equipment and supplies, these are all gonna be things that you would normally have at your house or you might have um, easily accessible to you. Um, they are designed to be very gentle strengthening exercises, so these might be appropriate um, or things that I might do with patients that have some hand arthritis um, to kind of the on the mild level, um, people that maybe have like hypermobility type syndromes or other connective tissue disorders, um, or even people that are undergoing kind of a traumatic accident or injury and they need kind of a starting point to start some gentle strengthening. So these are not meant to be extremely aggressive exercises. They definitely should not be painful um, as you're doing them. As with all exercise, they can sometimes cause soreness, but they should not be causing sharp or shooting pain while you're performing them. So the first exercise involves uh, a towel. A dish towel works fine, a pillowcase if you want something a little bit simpler. Again, you can kind of grade this up or down. If it's a really thick towel, it's gonna be a little harder. Th something thinner or material will be a little bit easier. But if you fold the towel kind of along the, I guess like a hot dog, and then roll it up, it creates like a little like a little cushion or pillow that you can do some squeezes with. So you can just practice kind of gripping. You can practice grip and hold. Just some gentle gripping type exercises, kind of like using a stress ball. The second exercise you can do, again, with a towel. It helps to have like a table or a surface in front of you, but you can kind of scrunch the towel in your hand and then push the material out. So I would do this on a table, ideally. Scrunching in, scrunching out. You can also do walks, like finger walks, where you're kind of pulling the towel in with one finger at a time. So let me show that again. Kind of like little finger crawls, if you will. Right, and then the third exercise that you can do again using your towel, um, you can either fold it a hot dog or a hamburger style. I'm going with hamburger this time, and I'm just creating a, again a little towel roll, and then I'm just going to do little towel twists. Let me show it from the side as well. So, just kind of twisting my wrists up and down. You could do both together. You could do one at a time, different directions. Um, so those would be some really good exercises that you can do, again, just with a dish towel that you might already have at home. The next two exercises that I wanna show you can be done with any type of paper that you might have around the house. You can use um, you know, a sheet of blank paper or an old scrap that you're trying to like shred or recycle or something like that. You could use a piece of newspaper, um, newsprint type material. You could use tissue paper if you've just had like a holiday or Christmas or birthday or something where you have a lot of extra tissue paper laying around. Um, I'm actually gonna use a scrap of material, like a cloth napkin that's kind of thin because I 
don't want to waste the paper um, by crumpling it. But the first exercise you can do is kind of paper crumples. So you would start holding one corner of your material and then using just your fingers. So don't try to use your body to help you. You're going to want to. You're just going to kind of crumple the paper, the napkin, whatever you have. The thicker the material, the more sturdy the material, the more difficult this will be. And then you can kind of uncrumple it as well. Right? So again, one more time. Just trying to crumple or ball up that material all by just using my hand and then I can release it as well. The second exercise you can do again with paper, with your cloth napkin, is kind of pinching. It's, an, it's actually an isometric exercise, so you're gonna use kind of the like little Spock fingers, right? That we have kind of three different divisions that we might be able to do. And you're gonna create some gentle pinching force between the fingers while you're trying to pull the paper out, so. I'm gonna start with my index and my middle finger. I'm gonna kind of pinch like that. And then I'm just squeezing together and then trying to pull the paper away. But my body is resisting. And then I'll do like my little Spock fingers. Same thing, pull. And then we'll do the pinky and the ring finger next. Same thing, pulling. Be careful if you have hypermobility. Sometimes when we do that movement, if you're really hypermobile at those PIP joints, those middle knuckles, they might start to bend backwards a little bit on you. Really pay attention to that. You don't want that to happen. We're trying to kind of avoid those hyperextended postures with these exercises. And then the last exercise that I wanna show you guys today, um, you need some sort of round object. It could be a tennis ball, it could be a stress ball, it could be an apple or an orange, something round that you might have around the house. A dryer ball would work great. And all you're gonna do is place the ball flat in your hand, in your palm. So notice that I'm not, not gripping around the ball at all, I'm just balancing it. And then I'm slowly gonna try and grip around the ball and then open back up without letting the ball fall to the ground. And this looks easier than it than it is. It's definitely not the most easy exercise. If that feels like it's getting easy and you want a little more challenge, you can add like a little a little squeeze on the ball at the end. Not too aggressive, just a gentle squeeze, kind of like a, a balloon, right? Trying to squeeze a balloon without popping it. Right. So those are all really good exercises that you can do just with equipment that you might have around the house. Things like a towel, a piece of paper, or a, you know, scrap of material, and even a tennis ball or even an orange. Um, I hope those were some good ideas for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss another hand therapy video. And thank you guys so much for watching.